So uh, I'd like to um, interview Jason Tucker. Jason's the one. Jason, if you want to push your mute button, unmute yourself, and then okay. show up, that would be helpful. If you were able to answer some of these questions for us, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? Okay, you? good. Um, first question there, how do you know that you're a one? Um, we took um, the Enneagram uh, down in New Orleans uh, about a month or so ago with the uh, X-29 Southeast uh, guys. So, uh, you know, just my first introduction, I never heard about uh, the Enneagram at all. Um, so just started dipping my toes into the water, it came back tested as a one. Um, and I'm like, well, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. And my wife was like, shut up. You are one. Um, so that was very helpful. So I tested that way. And my wife told me I was, uh, and then I started reading a lot of the, the descriptions uh, and really did. I mean, even some of those things that you just uh, pointed out, both in kind of the gold and the shadow really nailed me. Um, because I did, I did score fairly close between a one and a six. So I had to do some discerning between, uh, which one of those I really was. Um, I mean, the whole, the, everything that you just listed out, honest, reliable, right. I mean, the word right is like my life mantra. Um, so it really nailed me on a lot of that. Um, uh, one of the things that, uh, so, uh, and there are both things that I enjoy and I don't enjoy about that. Um, I, I enjoy right because I get identity out of, out of that, out of being right, out of doing things well, out of doing things successfully. Um, but the downside of that is sometimes I don't do anything because if I can't do it as well as I think it needs to be done, hmm. I, I might not step into it at all. Um, which is one of the reasons why it took me, you know, until I was almost 40 before I planted the church. Um, hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know if I could actually pull it off. Uh, and then I started and realized for sure I couldn't, um, so those were some of the things that just kind of stood out to me about, about being a one, just seeing those descriptors about myself, uh, both in the, in the kind of the, the, the shadow and the gold as well. Um, the second question there, what, what do I like about it? Um, I, I enjoy being right. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> it, it feeds my identity. It gives me a, it gives me a person to be. Uh, but uh, another thing I like about uh, being a one is that I do, uh, I, I'm wired well for what I'm doing. Um, oftentimes it's a little bit easier for me to recognize where we are, to recognize where I want us to go or where I feel like we need to go. And I can fairly easily see a path to get there. Um, downside of that is that I can be rigid um, because by the time other people start to ask questions about all of this, I've already spent the time thinking through every possible angle. I've already discerned what I perceive to be the best way. Um, so I can be taking the first five steps in a direction while other people are starting to think about the issue. Uh, so I can come across as being re you know, rigid, legalistic, uh, not very flexible. Um, so all of those things. So, so I like those things, but every one of them comes with a shadow that I don't like. Um, uh, one of the, one of the hardest things uh, I think about being a one is um, at least for me, and this is the first thing I list down is, is I feel like oftentimes I can just live in a perpetual state of disappointment um, mm -hmm. because I see where I feel like we need to be or what I need to be or what I need to accomplish. Um, but because we're not living perfected lives, we can't pull it off mm -hmm. in, in, in all of the idealistic ways that I feel like I, I see that it needs to be done. Um, so I can really struggle with that sense of just perpetual disappointment. It was good, but was it good enough? Mm. Um, man, Sundays after preaching, mm. I almost need medication. Um, <laughs> and sometimes that medication is just hanging out with the family and Netflix. And that's a really good thing. Uh, but like, I don't know that I've ever walked away from a sermon thinking, I feel like I did what I needed to do with that text. And I always walk away, thankfully resting in the fact that God is doing what he's going to do. And he's sovereign. And he's going to take, handle that and take care of that and cover all of my weaknesses. But it's a lot easier for me to see those weaknesses uh, than it is to see the, the things that are done well. Um, and if I'm not careful, I can, I can kill our church. I can kill our family um, through those things of always wanting more. So it's, 
it's again, it's a, it can be a good thing. And that's another dangerous part of it is all of those weaknesses can actually be applauded. Um, it, if I'm never fully satisfied, people can applaud me for that. Um, because like, man, look, look how hard he's working. Look how, uh, how diligent he is. When in reality, I'm internalizing a lot of anger. I'm causing health issues in myself, causing damage to my family. And I'm steamrolling over some people that need to be listened to. Um, so there's a friend of mine calls it, um, I'm too willing oftentimes to participate with the flesh, hmm. um, and to agree, uh, with my flesh in some of those areas. Um, what would you like others to know? Uh, man, I am, uh, one of the things would probably be, I'm not nearly as competent as I pretend to be. And I don't even know if it's logical pretending. Uh, it's just, this is the way it is. We're going to move forward. Mm -hmm. Um, and I come off oftentimes being more, more confident and competent, um, than I really am. Um, through God's grace, uh, he has married me to a seven, uh, who's also an extroverted Hispanic. Um, and so seven, the last 17 years of marriage have been very interesting. Um, but we, we have stuck with it long enough, uh, that we've seen some redemption in that, uh, and really don't, don't feel like I could be who I am in any way, sense or form without those 17 years of, um, God molding and, and using, uh, even that tension at times, uh, in both of our lives. So that's, that's a little bit of a summary there. Wow. That's really, really helpful. That's really, really good.